Guys, it's UK here at Slam 2015 with Jack from Alzheimer's Low. How are you? Good, man. I'm delicate. Running half speed today. Today. Yeah, today. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're a couple of months removed from the release of Don't Panic, which just seems to have had a crazy Yeah man, it's uh, it's, it kind of took us a little by surprise, you know. Our, uh, our last album was big in the UK, did really well over here, but uh, we just didn't know what to expect. You know, so we didn't get the album, so it's, we don't know. People you know, can forget about you. And it kind of went the other way there, so it's really exciting to get Yeah, it is our first experience. We've almost kind of like seen the lineup, been like, damn, why are we playing this? Yeah. And either like Reading or Leeds or one of the other festivals kind of got in the way. It's yeah. the first time just being like, let's do something though. When you guys come in, you're completely on top. It feels good, man. It's an honor. It's definitely an honor. Sure. And sharing the bill with an awful lot of what you know, it's like it's a lot of pop and go to the same label. Yeah, it's like Warped Tour, maybe. It's like Warped Tour. Is it strange seeing everyone here today that you've not seen before? Yeah, side? and I don't, I don't know, uh, I forgot like who's on the lineup because I haven't had the whole lineup in a while and I just keep running into bands. Hey, how are you doing? Like, yeah. Good to see you, man. Yeah, it's cool. I am. Um, the, the name of the album, No Panic, was that a response to how you guys were feeling from having left the major label? Yeah, it was kind of a message to our fans, also a message to ourselves, kind of just like, like slow down, take it easy. Um, we also... Uh, came out of the, came out of the gate like really quickly after the last album. We recorded the album and did it a year after the last one came out, a little less than a year. And we were on sign and we did it. And we, just, we recorded on sign and just we did sign. We're like, here's the album. We like, enjoy it. And they're like, cool, we love it. It was a really easy process. But, uh, yeah, don't panic. Just kind of show. Sonically and lyrically, it feels like the most mature. Yeah, definitely. It's the most, I'd say, realized album we've done. And I'd say musically, it's kind of like an all our album mix. It's got aspects from all our albums. So. It's like a greatest hits album. Yeah. It seemed like lyrically, uh, Alex went a lot more, or also went a lot deeply into what you have past it. Uh, it just uh, it just kind of comes out of the songs, you know. Uh, we'll just be sitting there and kind of have like, a skeleton of the song, you know, guitar tracks and drums, and go you know, to sit down for like 20 minutes and like think about what you should write about it. They're all just so flowing. It's like Eminem. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I guess that's where his head was. You know, he was in you know, kind of serious mode. Yeah. And uh, there are like lighthearted songs, but there's I mean, for the most part, you're right. It's like very deep lyrics. I guess that's, we were just in a kind of, I would say, dark spot. Yeah. Not like dark spot, but it was just the darkest we could have. So, uh, yeah, that's what came out of it. With uh, leaving, it's going to go back to, to hopeless. Do you kind of feel like coming home to your family and that make you look up to the right to the uh, uh, it, Well, when we did it, we were in science, so we didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know what label we were in science to. And we, we were getting off in as we were doing the album, so it's... Everything on the album was almost like a response to what was happening to us. And uh, it did feel like coming home with it eventually sound real nice. But that wasn't really involved in the um, album. So it was, just, uh, it was it, uh, nice to be able to write like the album again with those dirty work that's quiet. Uh, yeah, it was cool to just have uh, no restraints, no us in the kitchen, just do our own thing. Um, it felt good, it was very relaxing and laid back. Um, I think we wrote better songs like this event because there was no pressure, you know, there was, there was no time constraints or like, like raining down our necks, you know. Yeah. So it was easy, it was cool. And it seems like you've now kind of zoned in on the guitar tones and what you might do that. So I said it was fair to say. Yeah, especially working with all my green. Yeah, it's like one of the like, super like musical yeah. intellectual guys. So like he uh, he has like a bunch of amps that we just got to kind of mess around. It was very digital, it was very real. And how do the more serious songs fit to the set, which is well, in the time of set is basically the song that's been. Yeah, um, I think that one thing we've always kind of focused on is our songs aren't that jokey. Yeah. And like, they're lighthearted, but they're, they're all serious. They always have, have been. And um, the stage show has just kind of always been the same. It's always been like this jokey, fun, lighthearted 
like the songs for the most part all like pretty serious, so it's it's a good cutting back and forth there. Yeah. Um, your live shows, what happens to all the other work you get to do? Do you own more brands than it's not the uh, Yeah, well it gets too it gets too much to carry that you can keep them. We literally we have no place to put them. Yeah. They get like, maybe like 30 to 50 brawls a day. Yeah. Not a lot of room for that, but uh, we do sometimes we donate them, but a lot of the problems are people write on that. Yeah. So we can't exactly donate them and people sign numbers on them. Yeah, so you can't. <laughs> How are your feelings like that on site? So, let's go to give you make it like two rounds and kind of jaded you, or it's just not going to happen? Uh, it hasn't jaded us, and it really is something that we had to do, no matter what, because we had to we had to experience that just to know what would have happened. Because if we didn't experience that, then we'd be sitting here and we'd be like, well, maybe we should sign a major label. You know? So, it's an experience that we learned a lot from, and we can't regret the experience like that. We met so many people, we are. We met Mike Green. Yeah. He's a guy who spills our album. So we, yeah, so like it's it's not you can't forget that. Yeah. That the experience you had with the disco did it kind of make you appreciate the way the hopeless run themselves and how close all about that play while we came back? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it makes you realize that being on the major is fun if you're like the focus. If you're like the, if you're with the label is really like feeling but if you're not, if they're not feeling you then it's not good for me. When you're on the road, can it be hard sometimes to just pick yourself up when you're not feeling well or it's going to be like a full gym or a stage and everyone expects all the time? Uh, we have your dark moments, but I mean, our band and crew is so tight. I mean, we grew up with a whole lot of people. A lot of them have been with us for years. I mean, it's really, it's really a good place to be. To be, if you're gonna like be in a dark place, it's a good bunch of people to be around. So, you know, so it's like almost like having like a big family. Like everyone's around if you need them. We all hang out, and have a good time, and everyone knows each other so well. That we don't really try to, to, we don't really fight that much. So we've been together so long. So yeah, it's it's a good place to be. It helps. It makes it all easier. You and Alex are quite well known for the arts. You like the stage banter and your jokes. Have you ever said anything on stage? I've never thought I should have said that. Yeah. It wasn't oh, funny at yeah. all, that was just stupid. I mean, I, that happens every night where I'm like, man, that wasn't funny at all, and I laughed. But there are some moments where I'm like, damn, that was a like really fucking gross. I should have said that. <laughs> Do you have yeah. like your mom doing all the time? Our parents come out um, we play in Baltimore. And it's super embarrassing, but luckily, I think we talk so fast on stage that they don't really like understand what we're saying exactly. Yeah. But the parents that do, like, always give a shit after the show. So, yeah. At this point, they're used to it, but you know, for a while, like, yeah, we get some shit. Uh, on the album, there are other mentions of like Maryland, Baltimore, and I don't think we were back home when you were writing it, and that kind of response to what you wanted. We actually wrote the album in LA, but, uh, we were spending a lot more time at home. That definitely. That um, that, that, play, that was put into play with the lyrics, and, and definitely there's a lot of stuff on there. Is like um, the, the Baltimore stuff. You know, that's all about like hey, like we're still the same thing. That's what I'm still the same guys. But uh, who, who comes up with the ideas for your videos? Because they're all ridiculously funny. It's about what else? Is it between yourselves or is there like something like uh, Alex will usually spark an idea and we'll build off of it. Uh, but sometimes we like to pick one directors, you know, who have that kind of mentality. Uh, but yeah, it's usually the band and the kind of trading issue with the ideas around. It's like how ridiculous we can make it. Going forward, do you reckon you'll again try and get out another album relatively quickly? 
Uh, this time I think we're gonna kind of focus on this album and hopefully do another DVD. Yeah, yeah we've been putting out so many albums that we gotta take a second to just kind of enjoy it, tour the world a couple times, and yeah, focus on another DVD. It's nice to know that now you've well, a quiet, chill, serious album that's really sonic and developed. And the people have got it, is it nice to know that you can go back and go and do it again in the future? Yeah, it's like, a, it's, after, you know, being around for 10 years, it's crazy to, to watch your fans grow, you know, and see what they like and see what they don't like. And I feel like we know that we're fans so well now that we know what we're up, we know how to make them happy, and they keep coming to the show, so it's like a back and forth. It's a really healthy relationship. Sometimes it's hard to tell when we're not Yeah, definitely. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we weren't really touring in the beginning. You know, we've only been touring since like 2006. Uh, I mean, we've been the same four dudes playing music since 2003, so that's just weird to, to look back and say we were 14. It's a cool video that kind of passed us here after that. I bet you thought he was that as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, when, when people are like, man, I want to start a band, I want to do what you guys do, and I'm like, hey, listen, like, we're not special, like, it just happens, you know what I mean? You can definitely do it here, but um, it's not like that, I mean, it's, it happens, for sure. Yeah. Well, uh, Norwich UK here with Jack Moore Time Low, that's on 2013. Thanks for your time, dude. Thank you. Thanks.